Hey, what up, people? How's going? This is Bharat here. Welcome back to yet another video. It's been so long since we talked this way in kind of a podcast style of a way of delivering content. It's been so long. I know that this video is very, very important for me because I've been going around this uh, new uh, news in town, and I just wanted to come and quickly share with you guys what are my thoughts on that. And it's also important as a developer to get these thoughts out because uh, as you go forward, there's going to be a lot of changes that we're going to be seeing in the tech world for sure. I know that, and I just wanted to. record and document all these as part of that all right so the first important information is that uh, the paytm which was in news for uh, some different reason couple of weeks weeks ago is back in the news with a very important announcement the news couple of weeks ago was that it got the paytm is a mobile application which is for transacting and it's it, it, it is actually a banking kind of an application you pay money you get money all of that so that application couple of weeks ago was it removed from the google app store uh, for the reason that they actually marketed themselves as a, a gambling application as a lot of you know i've had this kind of a problem with my application getting removed from the google play store without any reason that is actually what google is known for they keep changing their policies almost every single month it's very frustrating as a developer to go through that every single month and keep your application aligned to that anyway so the paytm did get removed for about 24 hours before it got reinstated back inside the app store this 24 hours was very crucial because as a first billion dollar company in india it is actually being controlled by a non indian company which is the google at this point of time so the google is holding monopoly over what app is going to go into your android phone what app is not going to go into your android phone for most of the people most of the customers in india it is the only source of app store so when paytm did get removed for 24 hours they would have lost millions of customers for sure and that actually triggered a chain of reaction where the ceo CEO of uh, Paytm has re- uh, decided to release a new mini app store inside the Paytm app itself. Now I'll go ahead and discuss about what is the mini app store first. So mini app store is a very simple kind of a uh, application kind of a bar which is at the bottom bottom of the application where you can see it's a mini app store is an icon. As soon as you click on to that, you will see that there are various different applications. Lot of different companies have launched their own mini application inside the Paytm app. So what you actually see is that we open app you just open the mini app store let's say there is an application to do something like book a ola cab or book uber you click on to the ola application and it opens a web view kind of an application inside the paytm app so what is essentially doing is that you are not installing applications in your phone rather rather you're just using a web view inside your paytm app So now there are a couple of again use cases for this but how is it useful for the developer how exactly is it going to be useful for the developer and uh, what is the path forward for you as a developer is the main reason for making this video well there are a couple of reasons now as a developer the paytm is encouraging people to start integrating your application however small it is you, you could be a startup started today they still want you to integrate your application into their paytm mini app store there are one one big reason why developer should do it is because of the one simple uh, reason of getting almost a 0% commission uh, payment portal there are a lot of people who ask me this in in comment section dm you ping me and ask what is the best uh, payment portal should i use it what payment portal is actually advised for indian market so this question is going to be asked for a lot of years to come there are a lot of different reasons to not choose one because the license is different you have a different payment structure every simple every single company has a different structure of uh, at, uh, getting license for your application you have to go through a lot of papers uh, you got to go to a lot of paper work to finally finish up and integrate your payment portal with your application it's a, it's a bit of headache but now with the pay paytm mini app store you are getting a 0% commission of opening up your i mean integrating a payment portal with for your application there is a 2% uh, commission for i think credit and debit card but rather other than that you get 0% if you use a upi method you use pay paytm itself you use other upi applications you get 0% so that's a very simple and easier way to do it there is no hassle of getting licenses getting it approved no problem at all it's automatically going to be a simple process of doing it 
I went through the documentation. I went through the API documentation, and it says that you can do it. Two developers can do the entire integration in two weeks' time. That is, you can migrate your application into a Paytm mini app and put it inside the App Store in just under two weeks. Now, what does this mini app actually mean? Is it it is it uh, it isn't your normal APK that you upload and it gets downloaded into your mobile and gets installed and all of that. It isn't that. The mini app is something that looks like a web view. It is going to be integrated as part of the Paytm app itself. So every time you click on the mini app, it's going to open inside the Paytm app rather than as a separate application installing in your phone. So if one thing is that you are reducing the APK size, that is no physical application being present. Second thing is the size of the entire application. You don't have to have ten applications to do ten different things. Rather, you can just have a Paytm app, use the mini app, and open whatever you want to. For example, I want to book an Ola. I want to go and order some food. All of these can be done as part of the mini app itself, and there is no need for uh, installing different applications. Well, this is the advantage when it comes to using the mini app. Couple of disadvantages again on the same note is that visibility is going to be a problem. How many? Even now, ninety-five percent, ninety-six percent of people still use uh, the Google Play Store for downloading applications for Android mobile systems. So, the visibility is going to be a problem because only three percent, a very mere two percent, people are going to adopt initially for Paytm. So, not having any kind of APK present is might become a problem. The second uh, problem, other than visibility, is obviously going to be as a company. Where do you put yourself now? If you want to use a mobile application, and the mobile application is going to be fixed inside a Paytm kind of a mini app store, how do you, as a company, market use yourself outside that, outside the environment? So, a couple of questions that, as a startup, you might want to answer. Bigger, bigger companies who don't have this problem because they have bigger teams to manage different versions, and that 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 isn't a problem. But Paytm is guaranteeing a hundred and fifty million user base for any application that gets launched. Any kind of a new application that gets launched as part of their app store is now going to get will be sent to hundred and fifty million users. On an everyday basis, so that they actually adopt your application. It's a very good thing. It's a big, bigger vision that they have. So at the moment, there isn't a direct way to do it. Uh, you have to um, actually uh, contact them. They have given a contact address to talk to them about how do you integrate this, and then only you can put it in the mini app store. Okay, now this is coming to the important question of why should developers do it? Now the development team, as such, is going to be say you are a very new, very new startup, and you want to start building applications as fast as possible. It's going to be pretty simple if you want to launch it in your Paytm um, mini app store. I'm I'm guaranteeing that because I I saw how easy it was. Apart from that, there are a couple of things that you also have to think about. One is the metrics. As a startup, there isn't going to be much of a metrics, but as you go forward, how is the Paytm going to deliver the metrics for your application? Like a mini app you have inside the Paytm app, how is it going to be? The metric is going to be defining what are the customer base that you have, and all of that is going to be answered. The second bigger advantage, however, is that you are now getting a hassle-free pay uh, payment portal. Very simple to use. There isn't any problem with that, and that's going to be bigger. I think is going to be the bigger advantage of using a Paytm Mini App Store. The Mini App Store, like I told you, the start is not an app store at all. They don't want to clash with the Google App Store because Google App App Store has a very strict policy of not allowing any other app store to be present. So they don't allow APKs to be installed and stuff. Rather, they're just uh, saying like it's going to be a web view that is going to be present. And uh, you can just use the web view inside an application. So it's still going to be one Paytm app, and it's going to have multiple web views inside it. And every time you click on a web view, it's going to open a shortcut, and it's going to be shown to the user. So that's pretty much how they are actually planning the entire stuff. And it's interesting to see from here how it is going to move forward. How as an Indian developer, you're going to be seeing lot of changes. The whole idea behind this Paytm mini app store is to replace the need for a monopoly like Google Play Store. And push it to a much better app store where Indian market, Indian marketers and Indian developers, or even Indian Play Store indie developers can use it and effectively get their themselves marketed properly. So that's going to be the whole idea. It's really interesting to see how the Indian tech world is going to change. I'm very excited for that. Hope you are also excited. If you have any other comments, you can definitely drop that down in the com comment section. I'll be happy to answer any questions other than whatever I answered now. So let me be the next video again. It's uh, Bharat uh, underlines peace out. Take care.